Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here. Welcome back to South Park to Stick of Truth, where we have been a girl for far too long. It's time to return to the boys and tell them about our exploits. But hey, I mean, while we're on the case, I mean, I can probably look slutty a bit longer. Sup, guys? Hey, Cartman. Man, this place is super crappy. Shut up. Beats Koopa Keep. What's this? Council, gather round! This must be something the new kid needs our help with! Sank fams on sabi unan What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north? Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our armies. Is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, sp spit it out! Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you will have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Bobinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. Have you guys heard about Google Translate? I mean... Going to the old scribe in town to get this orcish translated. I mean, come on. Perhaps you would like the services of a level 10 bard. Perhaps you. Was a fair maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. How about you go f f f f f f fuck yourself now? Okay. <laughs> Regardless, so we needed a photo, and we've been hearing a woman like go on and on about the photo dojo. <laughs> Damn ass. We're gonna go there and get a beautiful photo. Thing is, okay, if we're gonna get a photo of ourselves, I believe that it's time that we go back to our normal gear. Come on. There we go. And the here. Wow. It's been a while since I've just, you know, been myself. Photo dojo. Ba -da -ba -da. Good times. Photo studio. All right, hey. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. All right. Step between the lights, please. All right. I'm all set. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? But... I wanted to be my I want to be myself on my passport photo. Well, well, what can I? Uh, no. Tell you what. How about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Oh, I get it. When you enter this, they assume that you're wearing weird gear, and so they set you back to your default gear, which I was already wearing. And now this guy wants me to... All right, sure. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants? Or, you know what, just take take the pants off, too. Yeah, sure. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay, that's good. Really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! <laughs> okay. You do not want to get on my bad side. All right, so we're fighting a pedophile. That's. Yep. <laughs> pedophile with no, six thousand five hundred health. All right. I wanted to see how where that went. He's on fire. Four. That wasn't so bad. That was pretty good. Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Okay, I'm still in my underwear, though. That's the thing. All right, so we're gonna go to Canada now. Let's see. High voltage warning label. The Spirit of Christmas film reel. All right, let's loot the pedophile. Cash and a USB drive. Don't really want to have a look at that USB drive, honestly. All right. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Yay. 
So I assume I'm naked in it. Well, if we're gonna be going to Canada, it's time for to equip ourselves for the battle. Let's see, we could go with just... It's time to become Dushabaguru. And... Dragon Shout! Yay! And here's the last forest. <clears throat> So this force is apparently really. I'm following you here. I hope you weren't following me. All right. So you said go north. So let's go north. Uh, let's go here. We're gonna go to Canada. Gonna go to Canada. Let's go here. All right. This place seems familiar. Hey, that was easy. No, you see, no matter which way you go, I block you. <laughs> ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's go to Canada, everybody. Where everything is square or triangular. Where everything is 2D. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. So here's the thing. Canada is like an 8-bit RPG thingy. It's pretty great. Alright, let's go here. Hello. You're not from around here, are you? No, I'm I'm new in town. Uh it's a interesting design decision. Woo! <laughs> Who the fuck just walks into someone's house? Oh my, I thought I was done with walking in on... Um, oh, whatever. This is an RPG, get used to it. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Let's see, what do you sell? You have some consumables. Ooh, they have like... Oh, I need Canadian dollars. Damn it. Claymore of the Warrior, Canadian halberd, weapon strap-ons, rubber grip. Cool stuff. But I don't have any Canadian dollars, eh? Best stay here in town. Those direwolves can rip your anus apart in mere seconds. Yeah, I'll be careful with the direwolves. Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh, American money. The current exchange rate is 1.24 to the dollar. Alright, so I could exchange some American if I wanted to go and buy stuff from that guy. So if I give him 20, I get 24. Okay. Welcome to the. Oh, Alright, so now I have some Canadian money to work with here. It's so, it's so wacky. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Yes, I would like to buy... So he has the Claymore and the Canadian Halberd. But the Rubber Grip one I kind of was interested in. So I'll buy that. And then he has these two as well. Probably won't use all my money on those when I don't really need them. Welcome to the Ottawa Clinic. Are you here for an HIV test? <laughs> I can heal you for five Canadian dollars. All right, I don't need any Come healing. Come back whenever you need healing or another HIV test. I don't need an HIV test, lady. All right, hello. Ottawa is the capital of all Canada. All right. Can I go in here? Nope, that's locked. All right, let's go. Hello. Talking to the prince is the best part of the tour. Or the candelabras, depending on what you're into. Candelabras are pretty cool. Sorry, guy. I'm on duty. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I... It's a self-guided tour. You're going to have to figure it out on your own. Uh, it's okay. Sure. But I'm... Uh, oh, I see a treasure oh, chest. Well, the Prince and Princess of Canada! Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> the audio tour is narrated by Brian Adams. Oh. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. <laughs> but I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Your queen appears to have a queefing problem. All right, heading north, complete, but we still gotta figure out where they speak French. Have you picked up your photos from the gift shop yet? 
Oh, no, I haven't. I, sh I should do that. Would you like another picture with the prince and princess? No, thank you. She'll just queef in my face. The princess queefed twice when she met you. That is a great honor. <laughs> I am so honored. Hold it right there. Oh. Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two eight by tens or six five by sevens? Uh, uh... Eight by no five five by sevens. All right, there you go. You can exit right through that. Oh, I would have picked the eight by tens. Oh, shut up! Wait, can I, can I have a look at these? Uh, I found a torn condom, by the way. When I was gonna go get Mr. Slave's thingy. Wait, where do I? Whatever. Canadian gemstone, joy buzzer, lowers. Okay. Spoiled royal pudding, a big old mana potion. All right. We're doing well, I didn't see any other treasure chests. So it's time to head out into the wilderness, where we know that there are going to be dire wolves, which is scary, but we can always come back to Ottawa if we need to heal. So as you can see, oh, oh, there's a dire wolf there. We gotta go to Winnipeg. Let's try and go into this cave. Oh! <laughs> We're playing like... Oh my god, he's talking French! Yes! Alright. This is so cool. This brings me back, man. Yeah! Attack! <laughs> you better check your pants. Dude, you stink. <laughs> Interesting. So this is the same type wow. of rock that we saw earlier near the crab people. I don't have the right... I don't have the right parts. My anus hey, is right, not right. ready. Alright, that sucks. Oh. They almost have me. What's this? Wait, item removed? Poutine? By the moon and the stars in the skies, I swear we will destroy you! Yes, this, okay, so this, I was apparently by the queefing caverns. Because this is the barking oh, spider. Alright, let's go take care of the barking uh, spider. He has a lot of armor. So, yeah, I think it's time to kick the baby! Yay! Who said Dad. those are pussies? <laughs> Not me, because you seem extremely overpowered. Barking gloves, or barbarian gloves, actually. Ah, the wolves. Ah, ah. Let's fight the dire wolves so we can get to Winnipeg. Double dire wolf. Shut up, Kyle, you're so lame. Dragon breath! It sucks that I almost killed them, but not quite. Alright, let's just do a rain of arrows. Ready? Aim! Fire! Can we be going now, please? Yeah, we are, Kyle. What now? There we go. Alright. Winnipeg! Welcome Here we are. To Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Ooh. Good, good. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? There's a dead guy up there. What the? All right, dire bear claw keychain. Ooh, gain bonus HP after a magic attack. Well, there's some cool things here. All right. You know what Winnipeg is known for? Uh, neither do we. <laughs> Lumberjacking's dangerous whack. What with all these dire bears around? Dire bears too? Not just dire wolves? All right, what's going on up here, people? They say that two Canadian monks live on a secluded island in the middle of Vancouver. Huh. Hello? This poor citizen was killed by a dire bear. You know what a dire bear is, right? It's like a bear, but it's dire. Poor guy. This poor citizen was killed by a dire bear. I know, I know, I know, I know. But there's dire bears up there. It's like a bear. You guys need some help with them? Sorry, buddy, but there's dire You know what a dire bear is. Sorry, buddy, but there's... You know what a dire bear is. Sorry, buddy, but there's dire bears up there. Shut up. I wanted to help out with the dire bear. Well, hello. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. Yeah, I was trying to do that, but they wouldn't let me. What, because I'm a kid, I can't handle a bear? Ridiculous. You know what a dire bear is, right? Oh, you're not gonna tell me, please. Ah! Oh, wow. Let us restore the balance of nature by kicking ass! Yeah, let's restore the balance of nature by killing off nature's creatures. Alright, slightly stronger than the other ones, but I guess I should have expected that. Rain of arrows. 
I miserably failed there. But I think I'm still gonna win. Yeah. This is really easy. Am I overleveled, maybe? I might be a little overleveled. Alright, but that doesn't matter. That just means we get through the battles quicker. Let's see, what do you have? Lots of goodies. Alright, but we can level up. So let's go to abilities. Uh, I suppose I'll just do lightning bolt then. I really only use like two attacks though, so... Let's go! The blaze leveling up makes us more powerful, I believe. Now that we're level 15, wasn't there some sort of weapon we could use? Or was that level 14? There's a lot of things I gotta... Alright! The sweet katana! It fits so well! Oh, that is badass! I could have used this on my last level as well. So it, it, it ignores armor. Adds extra damage on a perfect attack. That sounds pretty sweet, the wire hanger. We'll try that out. Cool. Now I look like a proper douchebaggeru. By Jove, you've done it! Look at all these diabare pelts! Now I can finally make a diorobe! Alright, give me that document. Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most diorobe in all of Canada. I'm scared they're gonna be sending me back and forth in like typical RPG fashion. Go talk to this guy and I go talk to this guy and I go and talk to this guy so you can talk to this guy so you can talk to this guy. So they wanted me to go back to the prince, I take it. Alright, I'll, I'll go back and talk to the prince. This is amazing. Alright. Prince! Buddy! Guy! I need your help. There you are! I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal! I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom! Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the Bishop. <gasps> kill the Bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the Bishop of Banff for me, and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Ah, oh, the Queen didn't queef. I'm surprised. Oh, these are indeed troubling times. Must we kill the Bishop of Banff? Shh, kill the Bishop of... Yep. We're killing the Bishop. <laughs> We're killing the Bishop of Banff. Uh... Off we go! So, I suppose we'll just head on our merry way. Couldn't see any other caves on the way. Let's see what's up here. <laughs> of course. Oh, <laughs> uh, barbarian mullets. Oh, frozen maple syrup. 100 frost damage. That's amazing. Of course we get maple syrup though. All right. So we've been to Winnipeg. Got to go to Banff. Oh, there's a snake in the way. There's a snake in my boots. You just don't get it, do you? Ugh, snake. At least it's not a dire snake. I mean, it could be worse, you know? Good night. Oh, he lives. I'm surprised. There we go. <laughs> wow. Alright. That's, that's, that's good. Go, 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 go. Bam. Okay, here we are. Have you been to Newfoundland? You won't find better sodomy in all of Canada. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Oh, I couldn't check out the beaver. Hello. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? What do you have then? A knife. Bishop gear. Okay, increase the max HP. Gain rebirth at the start of combat. Gain defense up. Ooh. The bishop gear is kind of cool. Okay, let me sell some of my junk. I only have nine dollars. But I'm wondering. Could I potentially sell some of my stuff without it actually being a problem when it comes to the completionist? I think I should look that up because it could get me a lot of extra money. Well, from the trophy, looking at the trophies and like the achievements and stuff, there's a lot of achievements that can be missed. So, considering I'm not gonna do a second playthrough, maybe I should just focus less on the completionist's sake since I can't do it anyways yet. Banff Canadians are quite religious. 
All right, let me uh, let me loot you then. No. Hey. Praise Christ! Praise God! Praise God and Christ! Ah, a Canadian Hail Mary! <laughs> What's yeah. this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? I do. Let's battle. Assassin! Oh wow. It's quite a lot of health you got there. It'd be a shame if I were to Dragon Breath. Boom. Now, Kyle. Are you ready? To kick the baby! Kick the baby! Don't kick the goddamn baby! Bam! Yay! Nice. Communion, no! What did that do? Oh, it healed. I shall turn the other cheek! Alright, good. That makes this a lot easier for me. No, I'm not switching. Screw that. I like Kyle. Okay, I kick the baby! Don't kick the goddamn baby. Bam! Yay! He knows not what he does. Ah! I barely felt that. Yeah, that's right. Time to finish him. Yeah. Yes. Good job. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away, and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Ah, oh, I get a choice. I get a choice. I don't... Uh, sure. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. A noble decision, Commander. I knew I was right to trust you. Yes, we are. Yes, you were indeed. Alright. Let us go. Why can I not enter here, though? Banff Canadians are quite religious. I want the goodies. Ah, that sucks. Alright, let us return. Hey. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's bars! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. You must go! Sorry, guy. I'm on duty. Alright. Gotta go to Vancouver, then. Prince has gone mad with power. We cannot allow this to continue. Onward. Uh, onwards. Do, 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 do. Vancouver. <laughs> I love how it's just sort of like pasted on top of the world map, it looks like, in the background there. Alright. Hey, hey, hey! Many wonderful films are shot in Vancouver. All of them are about cabins terrorized by serial killers. Nice. Real nice. Let's see what's over here. <laughs> and Kyle follows me. Hello? Oh, is this Terrence? This is Terrence and Phillip's house. Oh, cool. Well, I assume we're gonna be meeting them in this town then. I didn't know they lived in Vancouver. Hello. Hockey is quickly becoming the world's 11th most popular sport. Oh, <laughs> amazing, amazing! Keep it up. People come from far and wide to buy our 2010 Winter Olympics merchandise. Welcome to Vancouver, the San Diego of Canada. Hello. They say that the Duke earned his title by winning a log roll with the last Duke. Yes, yes, I know. But Ottawa is clear on the other side of Canada. How are we supposed to get there? You keep uh -huh. chatting. Yes, I see. Oh wow! No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yes, come on. Yeah, I hate that guy too. Uh, Ooh. No, I haven't seen that show, Badass lumberjack gear. Let me have a look. The Prince of Canada, the Bishop, and the Earl. Alright. So, let us see the Barbarian Helmet. Gain ability up when below and add 70 armor. Oh. Yes, I should become a Viking. Alright. Let's go. A letter from the Princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Oh, Terence and Philip, they're gonna teach me the final fart attack! So I can finally go visit the crab people! 
Yes! Terence and Philip are indeed wise. They are indeed wise! Let us go, Kyle! Terence and Philip! Hey! Oh, yeah. Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Terence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> now you know! <laughs> he knows Dragon Shout. Mm -hmm. Any magician's apprentice can Dragon Shout. It's not like he farted into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. What are we saying? Let me check your pants. What is the sound of one anus farting? Oh, now you know. Oh my god, he can cup a spell. If he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fast? Oh, don't make me do the sneaky squeaker. The sneaky squeaker. Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes, prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again. Here we go. That's it! Now let us see how Nagasaki works in battle! These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move! Nagasaki! Uh, okay, <laughs> pedophiles from Alberta, uh, I'd rather not have that, so... And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls. I won't. Trust me, I know that rule. You must never use this fart for evil. Or on balls. You're supposed to go to the catacombs of Quebec now. Oh, thanks. Thanks for putting me in the right direction. All right. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. The catacombs of Quebec. Here we go. This is where the minister is. All right, here we go. Wait. Nagasaki. There we go. The farts are really difficult to uh, perform. Oh wow. I wonder if I could use Nagasaki here. Alright. Let's find that. Oh! Let's see if I can find the right frequency here. Come on. Can you not perform Nagasaki outside of. Whatever. We'll take care of these guys in no time. You do not want to get on my bad side. Because I have... Oh, cool. So I, I can summon them. It just said that I couldn't... I still oh. don't get how Cartman got you to think he was cool. Well, I would want to try out Mr. Hanky. Mickey Mouse reference right there. Nice. Oh, okay. Alright, let me loot these Canadian animals. Make sure I get all of them. Ugh. Did we stab most of them? I think so. Minister! Minister! Ooh, the barbarian armor. Long lost. Terence, Philip, and the Duke. Barbarian armor. Check out that, that's so sweet, okay. So I got the frozen skull patch. What was it that, I got something really new and cool too. <gasps> Miller weapons, if like yes. Duke, I mean minister. 
Je suis libre! Je suis libre! Oh! N'avez-vous besoin de quelque chose, Stradut? Ok! C'est là, c'est Stradut, passez là! C'est là, c'est Stradut, passez là! Voilà! Bonjour! Merci beaucoup! Hey! Quest completed! Yay! Sweet stuff! Let's get out of here now. I got a new message. You are a true hero of Canada! Wait. Level 15? Wait, I've hit max level? I think I might have hit max level. Oh. Hello, Annie. Ready to go back? The girls are ready to see you. See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi! Yay! 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 You served Yay! us well, new kid, so you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! Yay! Sparkle! Sunshine! All the friends, 70 friends. I'm so popular, so popular. All right, so I can get one more. What do we want then? Let it's growing boy. Let's just become even more invincible, shall we? I bet you're thinking about something totally deep right now. Yeah. <gasps> Jaboko Moon! I'm thinking about something deep indeed. Valkyrie? What? What? Oh, wait, Jesse? Did I just... You didn't hear from me, but Millie said that Bebe said that Ali said that Monica knows someone who has a crush on you. Oh my god. I really... Sleep over at Bebe's house next weekend. If you can't see this post, you're invited. Don't tell anyone else about this post. <laughs> of course, girls. Let me see. Valkyrie headband. Worn by the female counterpart to the popular he-male barbarian set. Ooh. I don't care that it's female set, I'm taking it. So I have the Jesus Loves Me patch, which gives me Rebirth. Which is pretty freaking sweet. I definitely want the Jesus Loves Me patch. And the Valkyrie armor. Oh no. It's, it's female armor, alright. Uh, it's female armor. Yay! I'm so pretty! Okay, hey, what's up? What's up, girl? Heidi's having a slumber party. Oops! I almost forgot you're not a girl. Damn it. Damn it! Thank you so much for clearing my name. Now when girls call me a whore, it's more in a joking way. <laughs> oh, she's so terrible. You're totally hot! You're into girls? You're really different from the other boys. Like, you aren't even gross. Yeah, that's what happens. Puberty. I learned that betrayal can actually make your friendship stronger, and it's all thanks to you. Jeez. You're totally hot! I wanted to talk to uh, Wendy, but I guess not. Hey. As an honorary girl, you have been granted full access to our adorable supplies. Wanna do a little shopping? The Sparkle Boutique? Oh my gosh. I'm totally not interested. Chakram? Original owner had three extra. I won't miss this one. Cool. It bounces on six targets, and they start bleeding on a perfect attack. Sure, let, let's get by the, the shock room. Wait, what I else do you sell? Shopping? Yeah, I do. Let's see, equipment. Uh, oh, okay. It provides extra safeguarding for those who know its magical word of safety. Leather armor is lighter, allowing maximum mobility. Said to help the wearer dominate. Uh, well, it, it does have, like, the fairy princess gear. And we have the stupid spoiled horror clothes. Daddy shoes you can wear. I cry for help. But I like my Valkyrie gear. Aw. But there's so much fancy things here. Yeah! I have a problem, okay? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Stupid spoiled Horwick? Yes, okay. Glitter paints. Uh, whore makeup. This is, this is great. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. It's, there's just so much, so many things, and I'm like, this, this is the greatest thing of all time. 
All right, it doesn't give me any armor, but I look so fancy. All right, I know where we'll exit now. Guess where? The restroom. Yes. There's a room the girls have a secret base, but I've never seen it. Well, it's closer than you think. And I'm so fancy. Okay, well, I better actually go and report back to the boys. First, I want to try out my powers. You think you're tough? I grew up in the forest. It made me a total badass. Go. Oh wow, with this I will never run out of I can never run out of PP. I can never run out of PP. It constantly gives me more whenever for every charge that I use. I should have done that on the other guy, really. Let me try out the katana. Whoa. Real good. Give me the ring so I can finish the Nazi mission. Come on. Come on. Yay. Four out of five. Just need one more, one more, one more. Well, guys and girls, I think we actually should end the episode right here. It's been a lot of fun playing. I've enjoyed it. And in the next episode, we're gonna go, we're gonna talk to the crab people, crab people. So, I'll see you in the next one. Have a single good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye. <laughs>